So before I get to doing any decals or reverse stamping on my stamper, I'm going to first clean off my mat. I've got some things that I was doing right here that I was going to do something with and I can't remember what it was. It's just clear polish. I'm just going to clean it off and redo it. Make sure there's no other debris on the mat. Make sure about all those fake, I say fake, <laughs> uh, just all these nail guides clean. Make sure they're all nice and clean, like so. And then what I do, to make my decals to color in for my reverse stamping, I use Salon Perfect called Crystal Clear. The reason I use this one instead of the one you always see me use is because this one's quite thin. It takes longer to dry. This one doesn't take as long to dry and it's nice and thick. So it makes it way easier to A, peel up the decal and B, apply to your nail. Thin polishes for decals are hard to apply to your nail. So you want to stick with a clear polish that is thick thick, thin. It sloshes easily. This one does not slosh as easy. So I'm going to open this baby up and get a few of these ready just so they're dry when I go into color metal on the mat. And I'm going to fill in this little guide. I'm going to make sure you have it all covered and be kind of generous don't use too terribly much but you know be generous I think that's good okay so those are nice and covered you can tell that they're covered because you see how it's the flowers in the background here are not faded that's how you can tell if you've got a nice coverage the whole thing will be nice and uh, cloudy and no it doesn't ruin your mat this is a silicone mat I got it off of I can't remember if I got this off of Wish or AliExpress one of them they're on both sides I think it was like not even ten dollars probably even less than that I think it was like seven seven dollars I can't remember exactly I'm using BP0047. I'm going to use this little image right here. It's like leaves on a vine. Um, I like to imagine they're, you know, on a tree. So, on a tree turning those beautiful fall colors that we all have grown to love so much. For this, I'm going to be using my Born Pretty. It's like a brownish color. It's called number... 410. Alright, so first of all, before I go and lay some paint down on there, I'm just gonna make sure that my big monocle stamper is clean. Like so. a nice covering. There we go. Twist that up real quick. And I always use the, you see how it's bended kind of inward? I always use it, use the side that's bending inward to scrape with. See how it's this, this bend right here? I use that side. I just, so I just Use the bendy side. And rolling motion. And I think it picked up okay. Let's have a look. This is what I do if I can't see the image very well. I just lay a postcard behind it. 
and it is missing some parts, which I don't like, so I'm going to redo it. I'm just going to redo it real quick. Sometimes that happens. You can't always have a perfect pickup. Life isn't perfect, so why would your saving be? Alright, let me just clean this up real quick and I'll redo it. First, you don't succeed. Try, try again. All right, so again, laying some paint down. A little more than that, maybe more. There we go. Lay that paint down. Scrape. Roll. And. up nice so I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna keep it on this postcard so that yeah you guys can watch me color it in and see exactly what I'm doing for my fall colors I'm gonna be using pure ice yellow this salon perfect red it's called salsa dance 102 traffic cone Actually, instead of that one, because it's so bright and I want it to be more of a fall color, I'm going to use, let me find it real quick. Yeah, here we go. But maybe this coal color would be nice. Let me just decide real quick. These are very similar in color. Uh, this one's too pink. I'm going to use this one. It's like a very light sherbet orange kind of color. So, I'm using, again, the Salsa Dance, the yellow, Essie Pure Ice, or no, why, why did I say that? It's just Essie, and it's called Tarte Deco. It doesn't have a number, and just, oh wait, yes it does, 584. And then I'm also going to use this maroon color possibly. And it's called Uh as if you know like clueless. It doesn't include the uh, I just wanted to be extra and say that. I'm going to sort of pull this down so that I have a spot to work with. First I'm gonna go in with the yellow. And I like to put a little dot to work with. Like so. Close that up. Make sure my dotting tool's clean. And to make sure my dotting tool's clean, I just take a, a cotton pad that has acetone on it and I just squeeze it and twist my dotting tool. And that's pretty clean. So. Alright, now I'm going to go in with this yellow with the tiniest, the tiniest ball and pick up some yellow and start to color in a few of these. So let's make sure that y'all can see. Now, when I color these in, I don't touch the image at all. I just float the polish over it. And here's what I mean. You see how that dot kind of like hangs off of it? I just let that dot touch it. I don't use, I do not touch my tool to the image. I just float the polish over. So I'm gonna do that and make sure that y'all can see And here we go, like so, pick up a little more, turn it, if you're going to turn it a lot to make sure that you're coloring it in good, you do that.
Can you see how it's kind of stringing? I'll just mess with it until the string kind of falls back in on itself. That way I don't have to worry about strings on my stamp. So I'm going to take some more yellow and fill in another one. Which one? Now my nails are not, well I mean I guess I could color in most of it anyway just because I'm going to go ahead and color in this one here. Make sure I got a nice pickup of color. And float across it. Okay, come on now. I'm going to turn it. You really want to not have to worry about, well, at least I find it easier to not move my hand around a lot. You move the stamper to work on instead of moving your hands around. I find it's a lot easier instead of, as opposed to moving everything around, just move your stamper. And I put my pinky, my pinky that I'm working with, on the stamper so that it, my hand and the stamper is steady while I apply this paint. You may have noticed that it picked up a little bit right there, and that's just because it's dry and I touched the image too much. So it's got a little bit missing right there and I'll just float some polish over that. I think that's okay. And to get that line off that you see right there, I'm just going to take my dotting tool and kind of touch it and pull it off. I'm going to flip it over so y'all can see. And like so, that paint there, that's on the, the inside. Ignore that. But as you can see, it's colored in nicely. It's just fine. All that paint that you're seeing that's like in the way, it's, it's on the inside. I need to take out my thing and clean it. I may do that after this stamp so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. So now, I think I'm going to go in with this pretty S.E. Tart, Tarte Deco color. I'm just going to put a dot of it on my mat like y'all saw me do with my yellow. Like so. <clears throat> and color that in. And try not to go outside the lines. Oh, y'all can't see. My bad. Like so. And for that little tip, I'm going to switch to the ball on the other side, the smaller one, and pick up some paint and slack it on. Like so. Easy as that. Pick up some more, pick a different leaf to color in. I think I'm going to go with this one here. And just very carefully. Like so. All right. Um, I think I'm going to actually go back in with a yellow. And color in this big leaf right here. You see that sometimes that happens. There's a hair on it. Just put down your stamper and kind of use your fingers to pull that off. I think it's gone. You might have to use your nail and like pinch it. Pop it off. 
possibly. I think it's good. Okay, now that I've cleaned that off, clean that hair off, because sometimes that hair will get covered in paint and it'll make streaks on the thing you're trying to color in. So just be, be mindful when you're painting. Check for any little hairs that might get in it. They don't seem like they could ruin your life, but they will. Those little hairs will get in your image while you're trying to color in. You won't notice it. And your image is ruined. Your life is ruined. You want to die. <laughs> Alright, so. So. That's colored in. I just noticed that part of that big leaf isn't very colored in. Right there. I'm going to see if I can touch that up. Put some paint down. And you see how I missed that little part on the leaf right there? I'm just going to very carefully color it back in. There you have it. Alright. Now, I'm going to go in with a red color. With Go in with my Salsa Dance color. And I'm, just like the other colors, I'm putting a little bit of paint down on my mat to work with. little bitty leaf right here. You see this one right here that I'm hovering over? I'm just going to color that in. I'm trying to see which way I'm going to use this. I'm going to use this downward. So I'm going to color in. That probably won't actually fit on my nail. So I'm going to color in this little red one here. And you see how I like kind of got outside the line there? What you can do, do it very quickly while it's still kind of wet. Take something that's kind of sharp. Try not to hurt your stamper. And kind of go around and clean it up, like so. Let's check the other side. It's still got a little bit right there on the edge, you see? I'm gonna turn it around so I can see where it's at right there, and go around the edge there and pull it off, like so. You gotta be real careful. Real, real careful. And there you go. It looks just fine now. Okay. Float that beautiful red over it. And I'm running out of the paint and it's getting kind of dry, so I'm going to go in with another dot. If you feel like it's going to mess up, immediately just get another dot. And if it's too dry, just put some more paint on your mat and continue on. I'm going to go in with that maroon color. It may be a little bit dark, but I'm not too worried about it. Just put me a dot of that on my mat and color in a leaf. Now, you don't have to hold your stamper while you're coloring in. You could just put it on the mat like this and color it in, but I like to make sure I have a lot of stability. That's why I use both hands to kind of stabilize my stamper while I color it in. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to do when I was learning how to do this properly. There we go. Let's look at it. 
Now it is very dark, but you can still kind of see that line right there. See it? So I'm going to color in another one with that same maroon color. Because some leaves get really dark. Not all of them are bright and pretty like that. Some of them get really, really dark. So I'm going to color in this one here. And I'm going to put some more paint down actually because this dot I have, I know it's a little bit dry. So put another dot down. I'm having a little bit of drainage and season change weirdness going on. So color that in, and there we go. And I'm going to color in this big one too. Now I put a lot of polish on that one. Now if you get a big giant glob like that, you see how it's kind of raised? What you can do if you don't want to keep adding big globs because the thicker the paint is the longer it's going to take to dry so what i do is i take the paint that's already on there that's pretty thick and i kind of drag it over to fill in the rest of the image like so just carefully touch it and drag it if y'all notice that my hands are shaking don't worry, I just, my hands just shake sometimes. I'm fine. <clears throat> I do have slight high blood pressure issues, but other than that, I, it's manageable. I don't have to take medicine for it. I just make, I have to watch what I eat and make sure that I'm eating healthy. But my hands kind of shake. And there's this little dot right here. I'm sure y'all couldn't see it, but it was right there. So, like that. Now, I'm going to go back in with this peach color I've got. It's like a peach orange kind of color. Anyway, color in this little leaf right here. Like so. Now, if it's on the outside, like right here, and you feel like there's a lot of polish in the middle, what you can do is kind of drag it out. Because that part's not gonna go on your nail, it's gonna go on your skin. So if it's like really bulky and thick, you just drag that polish out and it'll be fine. And now what I'm gonna do is use some more red and color in this little, well, yeah, this little missing part right here. Actually, no, I'm just going to take that off with my, with my dotting tool. So, you see this, I was thinking about coloring this right here in, but there's not enough leaf, and I feel like it'll just look weird, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of carefully take it off and try to push up that little into the stem, maybe? Uh-oh. I'm getting... Okay, I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. So I'm gonna go in with that maroon color I've got. And I get paint all over my hands when I do this. See? <laughs> I'm just a messy nail artist. Oh wait, I don't want to use a maroon color right next to a maroon color. I don't like to put the same colors next to each other. I like to have variety. You see how I'm kind of placing them? I know that those two are kind of together, but they're not. Maroon. No, not maroon. What I just told you I wasn't going to do maroon. This pink color. I'm going to use the pink color to color in this leaf right here. Now, just because I'm doing a, uh, a tutorial kind of vid, uh oh, that one might have got messed up. I may just end up taking that off. It's kind of wonky. I don't like that. So I'm going to take that off. And that's actually big enough for my pinky. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it white real quick. I know I usually do a base color, but I'm not going to do that because I just, I'm going to be taking this right off afterwards. I'm just doing a tutorial on how to do the two types of reverse stamping that I know how to do. Paint my pinky. I'm just using white just because it was there and I just picked it up. You could use any color you wanted under this. You could do an ombre, you could do some crazy colors, whatever you wanted. Whatever you think would go well with the stamp. So while I let that dry, while I let my pinky dry, you remember I've got these, let me zoom back out. I've got these two decals where I laid down that clear polish. Get my stamping plate ready again. And since my monocle is already being used, I have to use a different stamper. I'm going to clean off my plate real quick and go back in with that same color I was using, the brown stamping color. And I'm going to scrape it this way this time. And do about a third, cover about a third of the image with paint. Scrape it. Uh oh, there we go. That's a good scrape. And pick it up. And that's pretty good. So now I'm going to get this out of the way. Still got this one. I'm just setting it to the side. I'm waiting for that pinky to dry and then I'm going to stamp it on the pinky. Actually, it's kind of dry. But I'm going to give the I'm going to give it a little more time to dry. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit. First using yellow. So we're putting some yellow paint to the side. Like I've been doing. Wait, no, this is fun. So, this is how you stamp on your decal mat to color an image. You just do this and roll it on there. Uh oh, I gotta re stamp it. See how it kind of messed up? It's just because it lost its stickiness so I'm gonna redo it real quick. Lay some paint down. it up and now I'm going to roll it onto my mat and I know y'all can't see that so what I'm going to do is take my little card I've got here slide it under there and now y'all can see it isn't that great so I'm going to leave this here so y'all can look at it and just for a reference point for me so that I don't do the same thing over and over color this in. And what I do with this is I'll usually put the colors right here so that I can not have to reach very far. So just like I would on a stamper. Now what you can do if you are afraid that you're gonna mess up the image while coloring it in, you can cover it with a clear coat. And it'll act as a barrier so while you're cleaning it you're coloring it in you don't have to worry about it getting
getting messed up at all because you've covered it with a clear coat and you're coloring over that clear coat, which, you know, I think I'll do that for y'all. This stuff doesn't take that long to dry anyway, so I'm going to take the SP clear coat I got and the Salon Perfect clear coat and color over this real quick with that. And it makes for a nice thick stamp to apply to your nail as well. Just be careful when you're putting that clear coat over it not to smudge the image. Just float it just like you would when you're doing on your nails. Just float the clear over the polish. I'm just going to let that dry for a minute. And since this is actually probably already dry enough, I'm going to apply it to my nail. So, I've got my pinky ready. I know that it's messy, but I'm just going to clean up out over it. I didn't use any latex today. I just didn't feel like messing with it. So, I'm getting it lined up the way I want. And going to figure out where I want it, first of all. And then press it to my nail. As y'all can see, I've got it on there. Now, now that it's on there, that looks so nice. Okay, so it's on there. And I'm just pushing down all these corners. Now what you can do to do that, get your orange stick and push all that stuff in. I like to push and drag. I push and I drag like that, see? And I'll push it down if it gets a little bit wonky on the nail. I'll just push it down, it's fine. And pull. And make sure this is pushed down here. Careful going around your cuticle with this orange stick because you risk hurting yourself. I have yet to do that, but I am a klutz, so you never know what's bound to happen one day. So just pull that away. And flatten this to the nail. Take away the excess. And there you have it, right there. And that's how you stamp a colored image on your nail. And you put a clear coat over it. I'm gonna do that real quick. You see how that color got dragged? It's because it wasn't tr dry in that part right there. But if you just make sure that your image is dry, it'll come out just fine. It came out pretty nice even though it's got a little smudge. I actually may do this hand like this. Actually, I'll probably do all my fingers like this, but since this is a tutorial, I'm just doing the tutorial and then I'll do my whole hand. Now, to color in the image on the mat, that's probably plenty dry. Let me just... Yeah, it's dry. It's dry to the touch. I can touch it. It doesn't mess up. Now, this color is still going to be fine to use. I'm going to zoom in so y'all can see. There we go. Y'all can see good. Now, it looks nice. Okay, so, and I'll show y'all how to apply this as well. Okay, so I've got this down and I'm going to color it in and now now I don't have to worry so much about not touching the image because I've got that clear coat protecting it so if you want to touch it a little bit you go right ahead I do I touch it I just kind of glide it over and I actually get them colored in faster I actually prefer making decals this way But I do do them on my stamper occasionally just to get out of the hassle of waiting for the clear coat to dry. I'm going to put some more of that maroon color down. If you don't have a mat, you should definitely get one because they do make reverse stamping way less of a hassle. Alright. And I'm just going to color whatever I want in willy-nilly. I know I said I was going to use that stamp as a reference, but I really just wanted to get it stamped on so that I don't take up too much time. 
it was already dry and it came out looking nice. Uh, now, since this is a bigger one, I'm probably going to put this on my ring finger. Now, I see that I did go out of the line just a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm, just like I would with my stamper, I'm going to kind of try to clean that up like that, so now it's not so messy. Pastel orange kind of color, coral I guess, it's very corally. Let's not coral. I actually have a polish that's less, that says let's not coral. I just can't remember what it's called. It's like, you know, let's not quarrel, but coral. Like ocean coral. So now I'm going to color in this little one. Uh-oh. And that's just where I scrape too hard. And that's the kind of thing that you can do on your stamper and you'll, it'll, it'll, you know, mess up. So now I'm going to color in this one here and this one. This is coloring on the mat is a lot less, um, it's a lot more uh, carefree. At least to me. I need some more. Like so. Some yellow down. Some of that off. There we go. And color it in. You really want to be mindful about how much you got on your tool. So, like, if you get a big old blob, glob like this, just kind of touch the polish and drag away, and you get a smaller bead. And then, if you still want even less, do the same kind of thing again, but go on the outer edge and drag away. That's how I do it anyway. So now I'm going to color in this one here. And this here on the edge, and this down here. Man, I should have colored it in a different order because now I'm going to have to have a thing where I've got a color right next to each other. No matter what color I do, I'm going to have a color next to each other. That's whatever. It's fine. I'm fine. This is fine. Now, you don't have to put the clear coat on top of a mat that you're doing on your dec uh, a decal that you're doing on your mat, like I said, but I do do this occasionally just so that I can be stress-free about touching my image because my hands do tend to shake occasionally, so that makes my life easier. My pretty maroon color. This one has a lot of peach in it, huh? I did too much peach. That's okay. So, let that dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to put another clear coat on it and apply that to my nail. Now, while that's doing that, I'm just going to show you all me cleaning up around the nail. So, I'm dipping an old watercolor brush that I don't use for anything anymore. And I'm going to just carefully sweep the skin by my nails. I 
I may redo that now just to make sure that it's a little less messy, but it's okay for now. I, I'm getting the point across of how to do this. Just clean up around your nails. I should have used latex, but I didn't. Whatever. It's fine. This is fine. Alright. And there it is, cleaned up. Now I don't have to worry about it anymore because it's clean, it's got the top coat, it's fine. Now, this one still needs some more dry time. So you just want it to sit and dry for a little bit. Because if you try to peel it up while it's still wet, it may rip. And then you have to do the whole stamp all over again. And that would blow. That would blow. What I am going to do though is, so I don't have to worry about accidentally getting these other colors on my stamp when I go to peel it up. I'm just going to clean up. Now, uh, it's a little sticky, but it's not bad. I'm going to risk it. Should I risk it? I'm going to do it. I don't care. Now, to peel up a decal off a mat, what you want to do is take the side that's got this angle and you want to lay it. You want to try at all times to keep that angle flat like that on the mat. So it's got to be at an angle and you keep it flat. And you just very carefully go around the edges, pop the seal a little. And very carefully go back and forth keeping it flush with the mat the angle flush with the mat and ever so carefully slowly take your time peeling it up off the mat just like that and it's up and there you can see the other side and they'll have this kind of matte look the clear the clear polish will have a matte kind of look but once you put a clear coat on top of that it'll be fine I'm gonna put my orange stick on top of that just to make sure it doesn't get too curled up it's curling up because it's still a little bit wet in places which most of them will curl and if you've got a color and you're just applying it and you don't plan on doing an ombre or anything you're just applying a decal to a colored nail you just color the nail. This is fast dry, so I don't have to wait very long. Da -da -da. Let that dry for a minute. These are cool because, like, I don't know, I just like to look at them peeled up from the mat. It's all pretty and colored in. I like that I used brown instead of a black or a white. I think that gave it a cool look. Now, if you've got a small nail and you don't like that it's got all this stuff, you can trim it to size. Like, you could trim it to size. I don't ever do that. I just apply it to the nail and then I melt. I melt it to my nail with acetone which I'll show you in a minute like it's gonna stick but then just to make sure that it's real stick I melt the sides I get it lined up where I want the white polish is still a bit sticky which is fine it needs to be to apply it now it's on there and I'm gonna very carefully start patting the sides and getting it to stick it helps to hold it Now what's going to happen when I apply that clear coat, it's going to melt the decal. Like it'll melt these clear, the clear spots. So I'm just pressing it, making sure it's adhered all the way around. Isn't that nice? I like to do 
just trim it a little bit. See all that overhang I've got? I just trim it with some oh, with some scissors. And now I'm going with an acetone, going in with my acetone and some on a brush, going in with acetone on a brush. And I'm just going to go and get in the creases. And what that's doing is melting it to the sides. Try not to use too terribly much because the acetone will take it away. So it's melting it away. I'll do some extra cleanup. I'm just getting the main thing going first. I kind of try to get as close to my cuticle as possible so that I don't have any polish hanging over my cuticle because that looks kind of dumb. I don't like to flood my cuticles with polish. Get in that crease. I'm kind of pushing some of the bristles into the skin. Like so. And you can see where I've got like that little bit of a... where it folded into itself. You can just try to push that down as much as you need to to get it flattened. And to fix that, this overhang that you got still, you can either A, put more clear coat on it, which I am going to do, but I like to put the acetone on my brush and touch and hold the sides to the free edge of my nail. So you touch it to the free edge and hold for a minute. I like to go push in a downward motion to make sure that it doesn't mess up the top part, push in a downward motion and wipe the acetone to that. Now, still got a little bit more right there in the corner while it's not sticking. Now, this method does take a little bit longer to apply, in my opinion, especially if you've got heavy colors coloring it in, which SP is a pretty heavy polish. It's not thin, it's very, it's a thick polish. And what you can also do is take a file and kind of, in a downward motion, at a, in a downward motion, don't bend it like this because you'll take off the polish that's right there on the edge of your nail, you want to bend it this way and go with the bottom of your nail. And see, I've got this little curve, so again, just, and it'll come right off. And the more you do it, you'll get the hang of it. So there it is. Now, I've still got that little piece sticking out, but that's okay, because what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make it go back down with some clear coat. Alright. I know I'm using a lot of clear coat, but that's just, that's what I do sometimes. Now, if it's still kind of sticking up, you can very carefully take your finger and kind of coax it to go down. I just used my finger to kind of push down all the edges that are being stubborn. And again, just to be certain that it's all nice and clean, I'm going to go in with an acetone on a brush and clean up around the nail. And 
And that's how you do a reverse stamp on a, on a decal mat and how you do a reverse stamp on a stamper. I think the ones on the decal mat turned out better, but that's just because I didn't let the one on the stamper dry. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and I will like and subscribe to see more tutorials and pretty nail videos. Thank you.